I just received this DC to DC converter board I ordered from China. It's about $8 with shipping. This one is unlike the Boost converter board that I used to buy. This one is also a buck converter, so it's two, uh, two chips in one. This has a 2577 and a 2596 chip built in and it's more useful because uh, because you don't have to worry about what the incoming voltage is as long as is over 3.5 volt then you can output it to anywhere from 1.25 to 26 volt and the maximum current um, is 3 amps it's rated at 1 amp and what I've been using this type of board for is for contraptions like this. This one is a solar USB charger. The two solar panels uh, they're less than 6 volts actually because they are dials connected to the back and I want to boost the voltage to 6 volt and to regulate it to 6 volt so there's a board in here that does that and there's another board that turns that voltage back to 5 volt uh, for the USB charging circuit so this is a very useful item and I was playing around with a motor, a DC motor like this. This can output anywhere from 1 to 6 volt. And you can use something like this to run a small appliance like a radio. But if the voltage is not regulated, it won't work that well. Whereas if you use this to control the voltage, there's this, this part here can adjust and regulate the voltage to a predetermined voltage. Clara here, DC in, DC out and this is the voltage adjustment. I've been experimenting with making a Juthi for voltage booster with parts taken out from my Epson printer power supply board and Usually with this type of coils here and the uh, transistor, this is another type of transistor, the jewel thief would work, but I haven't made it work yet. Maybe it's because the transistor is not of, of the right kind. And if you can't make one, you can always buy one for about $8.